All right, can we do another? Legend of the Lost Jewel. You awaken after the bus accident. You got banged up a little bit. You are fairly disoriented, but decide to take quick stock of yourself and get moving. You're bleeding profusely from a gash on your head. Ooh, the graphics on this are pretty good. Let's check the information here. About Legend of the Lost Jewel. Graphics and programming, original concept and development. Okay. And help. Like you've never played a Sierra game before. Stop being lame and get to it. Well, that's true. Now, I have to say this is a demo, so I'm starting with zero out of zero. Let's save. Just started. <clears throat> Anything else? Nothing here. All right, let's look around. You were inside a bus that crashed. The place is a mess now, too. A quick glance shows you some windows, seats, and a pile of luggage on the floor. You notice a purple purse laying on the floor at the back of the bus. Looking around further, you also notice a first aid kit sitting on the chair. You also see some sort of magazine sitting on the right-hand row of the seats. Okay, well, let's see. This purple thing looks like a purse. Snatch the purse off the floor. Uh, let's see. Take first aid kit. You're not close enough to the chair. How about now? You take the first aid kit off of the chair. All right. And this must be the magazine over here. Take the magazine. Cool. And I think it said there was luggage on the floor. Look at luggage. Take luggage. Well, I wonder where all the other people are if we have this crashed bus. Um, hmm. Let's take a look at our stuff. This is a purse you found on the crashed bus. This is a first aid kit you found on the crashed bus. And let me, oh no, it's not a magazine I found on the crash bus. Not that you have time to read much, but you took this magazine from the wreckage of the bus. The title is Poaching the Amazon. Read magazine. You flip through the magazine. You really aren't into shooting animals, so you don't see anything worthwhile. You do stop to admire the centerfold of a naked spider monkey of the month. Wonderful. All right. Purse. Let's see. What do I do with the purse? Bear purse. Um, use first aid kit. Use first aid kit. All right. Well, I'm not getting anything else, so I think that's a bit. I see some boxes on the ground. I guess that's just luggage. <clears throat> Look at the glass has been shattered and it's of no interest to you. I mean, maybe the people got off the bus. <clears throat> Back! A swarm of bugs is rushing towards you. If you aren't protected against them, they look like they could do some damage. You better run. You're bleeding profusely from a gash on your head. Yeah, I know. I tried to use the first aid kit. Um, those things are good. What's going on here? Did I die or? Okay, let's. Can I run? Uh, ah, you can't see. <laughs> oh wow, they're like super strong. They can carry me. Watch that last step. It's a doozy. That's a really nice, I love well, the, the graphics in this game are pretty good. I like that little death animation there. I probably should have saved it after I picked up all that stuff, though. So let's take the purse. <clears throat> I wonder if it can just do kit. Cool, perfect. And take magazine. Use kit. Look. 
in the kit. I wonder, open kit? Oh, cool. You open the kit and find two batteries, a can of insect repellent, perfect, and a roll of bandages. You take these useful items out and discard the bulky kit. All right, so use repellent. You spray yourself with bug spray. That should keep those pesky critters off of you. Good thinking. <laughs> After making sure your most vulnerable parts are well coated, you put the can of repellent away. Well, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with <clears throat> the animations and just the attention to detail in this game so far. <clears throat> Let's see, bug spray. <clears throat> Here comes the real test, though. Does it work from keeping me safe? You are bleeding profusely from the gash on your head. Oh, I should probably use the bandages. Well, I'll just wait and see if it kills me. Maybe I'll get another funny animation. All right, well, the bugs are gone, so that's good. <clears throat> you, f you feel way too disoriented. You are losing blood fast. Well, this game is really nice telling me all that. Oh, I can't move. <laughs> oh, man, this is it. Too weak. Oh, that's funny. It's making it move by itself. Man, that was the best impersonation of you bleeding to death I've ever seen. Way to go. <coughs> All right. So, use bandages. You put the bandages on your head. Your cuts stop bleeding immediately. Whew. Excellent. All right. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Maybe walk a little faster. So, look around. This is where the bus crashed. The damage doesn't look too bad from this side. There is glass strewn, strewn, I'm guessing, strewn all over the road. The jungle gets thicker to the east, and there's a sharp cliff drop off to the south. Okay. Can't go this way. Look at wall. The cliff wall has been reinforced with concrete. It's not the most sturdy, but it probably works. So did the bus fall from the top? All right, let's see. Now I can control my character. The road takes a turn to the south here. You can see that the reinforcement walls have crumbled here, revealing some sort of cave with a footpath running through it. Is there anything else to look at here? You're getting into a bit thicker jungle area. You can't really see too far off in the distance from here. The wall has broken away, revealing a footpath. Thick grass. So it won't let me take anything, so I probably don't take anything here. Look around. The road comes to an abrupt end here. A large tree has uprooted and fallen, blocking the road to the south. It is covered in algae, 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 and is probably too sick to climb. Looks like it's the end of the road. So they're telling me that I can't go this way, it sounds like. So I'm too slick to climb. It won't even let me try. Look, rocks. Take algae. Look, algae. The large tree that is blocking the road is covered in algae and moss. Of course, conveniently, you can't see that from your position because you are south of the tree and the character on the screen is to the north of it. <laughs> All right, I see you breaking the fourth wall here. Clever. All right. All right. Okay, cool looking cave. You are walking through a dark cave that is carved into the mountainside. It looks to be fairly dark in here, so just watch your step. So I'll save before I get too far. Just in case I step on something, I guess. Kind of want to die. This game has pretty decent animations for that, so no, nothing's happening. Climb wall. Dig. Okay, 
I guess it's just I'm it's kind of cool how they uh, darken the character I have to say so yeah this game this game has some pretty cool attention to detail and artwork yeah look at this this is beautiful look around there's an old rope bridge here that hangs above the fast-moving river the mountain doesn't seem to have any easily accessible paths here. <clears throat> On the opposite side of the bridge is a dirt trail that leads into the jungle. All right, save at the bridge. Can I walk off the bridge? Cool. Don't walk off the edge of a bridge and don't jump so close to the edge of a bridge. And don't jump so close? Well, we got to try that now, don't we? Uh, let's see. Maybe hold the rope. Let's see. Jump across. Hey, cool. I made it. That was a pretty cool animation, too. All right. Save. Cross bridge. <clears throat> let's see. Anything else to do? Look around. The forest path leads to a small clearing here. In the distance, you can see what seems to be another uprooted tree. To the east, you can make out the old old bridge. Wouldn't that be to the west? <sighs> anyway, that led you here. Okay, look, tree. Off in the distance, you see another uprooted tree that seems to be blocking the path. The other trees around here are lined with moss and algae. Ouch, you just got bit by a mosquito. Let's use bug spray again. You spray yourself with bug spray. That should keep those pesty critters off of you. Thinking. Looks like that was the last of it. Since you no longer have use for the empty repellent can't, can't, you toss it as far as you can into the jungle. Take that, global environment. All right. Save. I hope I don't need that um, bug spray for later. Bug spray on. All right. Can I go east? Nope. I think that just must have been a typo. <clears throat> I really like this. Uh, these, I guess, tree branches. I don't know. It's really well done. Oh, that's cool. Looks like bees. Look at tree. There's a very large hole that rotted in the tree. Swarming around the hole is a hive of bees, which have made themselves at home. Well, I don't think... I hope my repellent is good enough for that. All right, well, I can't go that way. I think I'm supposed to go over. Find tree. You try and fail. Capital F for some reason. This part of the tree doesn't seem like it is climbable. Maybe over here. Sensing your, sensing your approach, a swarm of bees comes out of the fallen tree, ready to defend the hive. Uh-oh, you have stepped too far. Let's hope they are friendly. Oh, well, probably not. Can't move. The bees swarm you for a second. They seem to have a distaste for your bug repellent that you are wearing. They then head back to their hive, leaving you intact. Now that they know you taste bad, the coast is probably clear. Okay. Can't get a good grip on the tree because of the enormous hole. So I can't climb it. Um, I don't know. Go in the hole. Uh, climb in the hole. Ah, perfect. You climb in the hole. It allows you to pass through the trees to the other side. Fortunately, the bees leave you alone because of your bug spray. Is that it? Thanks for playing the Legend of the Lost Jewel demo. Well, that's unfortunate that it was such a short game because I was pretty impressed with the way it was put together uh, in terms of the art and the animations. It was really good. I feel like the gameplay didn't have much. Uh, there was no puzzle solving, really. I mean, it was just I had to use bug spray not to die by bugs. Uh, I had to put a bandage on my head. And I had to jump across the bridge, and that was pretty much it. Um, 
I guess there was no other characters in the game. So I kind of don't know what was going on, and I don't really know what my, like, what the mission is, or, I don't know. But that's the Legend of the Lost Jewel demo. Um, from what I understand, the creator of this, I mean, this is a very old game, old demo, uh, was working on the full game, uh, but it was never completed, which is really a shame, I think, because I think it could have been pretty cool.